Well, Santa Barbara dad has admitted to taking his two kids to Mexico where he killed them and left their bodies. Good evening. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Marcella Lee. Carlo Chiquetto has the week off. Investigators say 40 year old Matthew Taylor Coleman drove from his home in Santa Barbara with his two young kids on a mission to kill them so that they, in his words, would not grow up to be monsters. News 8's Kirsten Holmes joins us live with what we've learned about the case today. Kirsten. Hey, I'm here at the San Diego FBI office where in my hand I'm holding the criminal complaint against Matthew Taylor Coleman. This details the gruesome murder of his two young children because he says he wanted to save the world after he was enlightened by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories that he found on the Internet. The complaint says that on Saturday, August 7th, Matthew Taylor Coleman took his 10 month old and two year old from his home in Santa Barbara, California to Rosarito, Baja, California. The criminal complaint says his wife called police concerned for his safety when he left with their children because he wasn't answering her or other family members who were reaching out to him. But she says she did not believe that he, she or their children were in danger. While in Rosarito, the complaint says Coleman murdered his children using a spear fishing gun into their chests. Coleman said he believed his children were going to grow into monsters and that he had to kill them after he was enlightened by QAnon and Illuminati conspiracy theories. He says he was also having visions and signs that his wife had serpent DNA and passed that DNA on to his children. The court filing says Coleman believed he was saving the world from monsters. Coleman told investigators that since he didn't have a car seat, he placed his youngest child in a box for the ride to Mexico. And after he had killed them, he discarded the spear fishing gun and bloody clothes near a creek. After investigators used the Find My iPhone app to track him down, he was arrested on Monday, August 9th, around 1 in the afternoon at the San Ysidro Port of Entry. Border officials noticed he was returning to the country alone without his small children, and they noted blood on his Mercedes Sprinter registration paperwork. The bodies of the two toddlers had been found hours earlier that day around 8 a.m. Okay, so I read through this entire criminal complaint a couple of times, and I got to tell you, it is pretty horrific. And this comes just weeks after the children's father, Matthew Coleman, made an Instagram post about how much he loves his family, including those two small children that he has confessed to killing. We have this full complaint up on, on our website if you want to read it at CBS8.com. But I got to warn you, it may not be suitable for all audiences. Back to you. Now, Kirsten, what is next in this case? Okay, so Coleman was in court today, and he will be arraigned on... August 31st, he is being held without bail, but August 31st is his arraignment. All right, Kirsten, we'll keep track of that and see what happens uh, during the court process. Kirsten Holmes reporting live for us tonight. Kirsten, thank you. Matthew Taylor Coleman was an American citizen, and so were his two young children. And because the crime happened in Mexico, attorneys we talked with say U.S. FBI agents will be working with Mexican authorities to piece together their case and find justice while each side goes through their own individual legal proceedings. The U.S. can still charge you if you're a U.S. citizen. You committed crimes against another U.S. citizen in another country, regardless of what happens in the trial down there. Attorney Mark Reichel says this is only the beginning of what could be a long legal proceeding because of the international implications.